time to go for gold again here in Paris. The USA coming out against Korea for gold in the recurve men's team competition. It's time to go back down to the field of play for the team introductions. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea, Kim Woo Jin. Kim Jae Duk. Oh Jin Hyuk. On target number two, representing the United States of America, Matthew Riqua. Jack Williams. Brady Ellison. The line judge for this matchup is Paya Warnombri. Well, what a matchup we've got. Oh, Korea line up the with Kim Woo Jin, the world number two, Powell Kim J. Duck, the world number 18, and uh, returning, well, refusing to retire the 40 year old O. Oh, Jin Hook. Brady Ellison there leads the line for the USA with Matthew, Matthew Riqua and Jack Williams. And Brady Ellison has been a little off color this season, but he's got. A lot of colour on his face. He seems like he's come out with some kind of camouflage. <laughs> Time for, to go for gold here in Paris as Kim Woo Jin gets this mighty matchup between Korea and the USA underway. Quite interesting now, the sun looks to be in the eyes of the archers, which can cause a little problem sometimes of seeing no, no. your sight and the, and the uh, target and also the string picture. So that's the back image you see of a string and that can get a bit bigger when there's a lot of sunshine on it. Mighty start from the Koreans, dropping just one point. Not affected by this sun. Jack Williams starting things off for the USA. Worthy first arrow, I'm sure. Plants it into the 10. That will settle things down for the USA. Matthew Requan shooting second. Yeah, you can see the green on the string there, that's a kisser button, so it's a reference point for the archer. <laughs> on their face. Second rotation no. begins. No. Mathematicians amongst you will be able to very quickly work out that the USA needs three tens to match the Korean score. Otherwise, the points will go to the Asian team. Great start and a fist bump from uh, Jack Williams there. 
happy with that shot. No. Oh, he held on to that one for a long time, but pulled out a nine. Brady Allison we all know and love but uh, only able to get up to 56 so the two first set points go to Korea uh, formidable start for them dropping just three points Nikki yeah I mean it's <laughs> nothing less than we'd expect from the Koreans they are one of the best teams in the world we've really missed them not being on the World Cup circuit obviously second stage we went over to Korea cleaned up a lot of the medals and it's great to see them here in Paris too. Yeah, there's talk in venue amongst the archers and coaches that some of the arrows may drift off to the left uh, so if there is a breeze it's coming across but no sign of that in this match got quite a good spread around the target for both teams. Yeah I mean conditions today have probably been the best of the whole week um, very minimal wind at all it has been coming right to left but I don't know if it's really affecting anybody. Um, just tiny adjustments being made. I think the Korean sap time a little bit high. In fact, look down the range there, you can see the wind socks flat. Um, so really, really good conditions here. Oh, Jin Hyuk. 40 years old still, up in the world's top 30. Brady Ellison, world number three, shooting his last arrow into the ten. Jack Williams, perhaps, performing the best at the moment for the USA. And he will start this second set. USA trailing Korea by two set points to nil. Long hold, a little bit of nerve shaking. Got to make this shot. Well, Ellison buys very, very high standards. It's a, had a bit of a struggle this season. Yep. He's come out with uh, well, what we can only really describe as war paint on. He means business here. I suppose it's anything to just change your mindset for the American. Kim Woo-jin, world number two. Yes. The three-time world team champion. Straight back into the tens. <laughs> the youngster Kim, very happy with that one. One find interesting about O, oh, so we know O oh had an injury back in the last stage in Korea. Look at his fingers on the string. So you see that bottom finger just sliding off the string. A lot of the tension is on the first two fingers. And that was what was, I think, injured one of those two fingers from Korea. So that weight distribution is just interesting. Some archers do slide their bottom finger off because we do have variability in the length of that finger. Um, but other things, other factors like how thick your leather on your finger tab is, how thick your string is can impact, you know, how much weight is going through those fingers. No.
8. Time running out here for Brady Ellison. I think he's just got that one off in time. 55 set by the American team. So again, a bit of a buffer for Korea here. They can drop three points and still share the set points. Another 10 from Kim Lee Jin. No. So an eight to share the set points, which is what uh, O shot with his first arrow. Anything more? And Korea will lead 4 0. No. That'll do it. Ominous signs for the USA here. Korea in fine form. Kim, Kim and O. Oh. Looking formidable and looking very relaxed. A couple of drop points there by O. Oh. Yeah, a couple of points dropped there, but generally, you know, as a team, they're working really well together, aren't they? Just keeping those drop points to a minimum. It's just interesting looking at the body language there between the teams. You've got um, Kisit Lee in the USA box, really trying to G them up and clapping his hands uh, for the American guys who are looking a little bit down at the moment. They've got to get themselves back into this match. Jack Williams, the one again performing in two tens in that uh, second set. Requiem with a ten and a nine. Kim Bui Jin leading the line. Korean recurve team electing to put arguably their strongest athlete on first in the rotation. Anchoring the team O. Oh, shot an 8 and a 9 in that set. So it was more than enough given what his teammates had done. 4 0 lead for Korea against the USA in the recurve men's team gold medal match. The USA have to win this set. They go down to Jack Williams on the shooting line. Little flinch there. Sometimes when you're right at the end of that clicker, if you make a little movement forward, because the end is obviously, you know, shrinking, if you like, the tip of the arrow, so the click is almost, if you just go forward slightly, it gives you a bit of feedback and just made a bit of a flinch there, didn't he? Yes, goes the other side. We just caught Jack Williams there, as you were saying, just having a look at that clicker, trying to see if there was a, an issue with it. He still is looking at uh, his equipment there. Brady Ellison steps up to the shooting line. An eight and a nine shot already for the USA. We talk about body language there. Brady Ellison still not quite looking himself. Kim Woo Jin as good as he's ever been. No. Interestingly, O takes a little bit of time, doesn't he, to get himself set up. Put a tiny bit of pressure on the other two. Yeah, he looked pretty rushed actually on the last arrow, uh, the final rotation last time around. He really rushed that setup, but uh, produced a good shot. No. no, no. 
Well, it's been a while since the USA have beaten Korea in the men's team competition. No. no. Down to very little time as well. Yep. Count of two there from Jack Williams with a 10 from Brady Ellison. Seems to shoot better under pressure at the moment. Yeah, a lot of archers doing away. You know, if you, your clock's ticking down, you've got to make the shot, you've got to commit to it. Quite often they shoot better. Well, another five point buffer for Kim Woo Jin and Korea. <laughs> has not been eroded that buffer so two arrows here could seal the deal for Korea all they need to do is shoot a 53 58 available to them no. Looks like that's just out so how much time has O got here six for the win No. Hits the nine and it's more than enough. It's been a dominant display from Kim, Kim and O. Oh. Fist bumps from the coach. The USA were not at the races today as a team, as a unit. Jack Williams, he shot very well. But overall, Kim Woo Jin, Kim Jae Duk and O oh Jin Hook have taken the gold here in Paris.